one thing we need to keep in mind when you're bleeding your mast or the whole system, sorry, is don't squeeze this lever too much because it'll squirt out a fountain of fluid over the top and it'll make a mess. Okay. It might be easier if you just set the whole lid on there lightly. Just to keep it from going too splooshy all over the place on you, okay? Some still might want to migrate out, but you'll still get it happening that way. I'm going to finish doing a little bleed on the system. I did have a little leak down here that I took care of really quick. All right, so I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to give it a little squeeze. All the way to the bottom, the little bubbles are coming out. And we'll shut this all the way in. Like that. Open the valve. Sorry, release the lever. Give it a couple of squishes. Right, and open this up again. Give the lever a squeeze. All, right, all I'm seeing is fluid, solid fluid coming out of there, no bubbles. I'm going to call that bled. Give this a nice little snug. Release this slowly. Wipe up any mess that's happening here real quick. Just so it doesn't get away on you. Next thing you know, you step in it and it's in the house. There we are. They're done. So, I should have an effective clutch lever here. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to poop my pants. If this is now my new clutch lever, I have to squeeze with all my might. All right. That's a thing of beauty. What an investment. I love it. I'm not done this job yet, though. I still have to deal with my shifter issue. I'm going to make a whole rear set shifter today. And I'm also going to show you I've made some cast matching levers, the bladed levers. Made them myself. I'll show you in a bit. But this works awesome. I love it. I'm impressed. Blown away. Absolutely.